Hello guys and gals and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Today we're going to be looking at a uh, winged harpoon uh, known as Gargoyle's Bite. Gargoyle's Bite is a relatively high level item. This is actually an elite item. And, um, and it does have some similarities to uh, Demon's Arch, which is an elemental damage javelin as well. Uh, but instead of fire, lightning, and ice, uh, this one is poison. Um, so let's go over the item together, and we'll talk about it and its ethereal form um, in the video. So we have uh, 36 to 254 damage, a rather large spread there uh, between the two. So the average damage is going to be much lower than, of course, the, um, the, the, the max, which is 254. Uh, we also have a one-handed damage, which is much lower, of 89 to 115. Uh, quite a bit of difference there between the um, the thrown damage and the one-handed damage. Usually they're closer together than this, but uh, in this particular case, it definitely does seem like they are very different. Uh, we have a quantity of 120, which has been increased in 2.4. Um, this is, uh, let's see, much higher than the original, which I believe was 80. 80 was the original. Uh, quantity, and uh, we have a dex requirement of 145, which is relatively high, and a strength requirement of 76. Uh, the level requirement on this is level 70, of course, because it is an elite item, which does posture this more toward an end game item than a, uh, you know, a mid-tier or low-tier item. Um, it has a fast attack speed. Unfortunately, it does not have any increased attack speed on it. Um, it does have 230% enhanced damage, which does vary from 180 to 230%. Um, that is literally the um, one of the only two variables on this item. So you would need to find a 230% uh, enhanced if you wanted a perfect winged harpoon. Uh, a gargoyle's bite, excuse me. Uh, we also have uh, 293 poison damage over 10 seconds, which just seems relatively low for level 70. I always feel like these poison damage numbers were balanced out improperly. Um, I don't know what happened uh, basically with these items, but it seems like the poison damage needs to be bumped up by quite a large amount. And um, I don't understand why because i've i've reviewed a lot of items if you've been following my channel for a while you will know that i go over a lot of items um and uh, and every single item that has poison damage on it is lackluster very lackluster uh the poison damage is too low the duration is too long uh there's tons of different issues and even when the poison damage gets upgraded like in set bonuses um it doesn't even get upgraded very well uh, it also has 15% lifesteal, and unfortunately this is a variable, so definitely um, think about this. Um, it varies between 9 to 15%, and 15% is a lot of lifesteal. Um, and especially with the lifesteal penalties, I'm not really sure if you know about the lifesteal penalties, but there are uh, penalties for lifesteal in Hell Difficulty and Nightmare Difficulty. I actually do have a video up on lifesteal if you'd like to go over those calculations. Um, it is actually kind of important to know that lifesteal has penalties and 15% uh, would definitely be a lot better in hell difficulty especially since that's where you would be using this as a level 70 item um, it also has replenishes quantity of one in three seconds and uh, and this is definitely very nice because that means that you can find it in the ethereal form and utilize it there uh, we also have level 11 Plague Javelin charges, which I don't really know if these would ever really be useful. But Plague Javelin has been buffed in recent patches, and um, it's kind of hard for me to go over exactly how much damage level 11 Plague Javelin does, uh, because it has been buffed, as I said. But pre-buff, it was 481 to 514 poison damage uh, over 7 seconds. Uh, with a bonus attack rating of 120%. So you could theoretically use this kind of interestingly as a uh, kind of a, a, a poisoning damage effect. The problem is, though, is if you did utilize the ethereal version, you would not be able to repair the charges, which is unfortunate. Um, as you can see, uh, Poison Javelin, or sorry, Plague Javelin, has a rather wide radius. So it will hit a lot of targets. It's not just going to hit, you know, just one or two targets. It's going to hit just about everything within range. Um, the main issue, though, is that um, it doesn't really do enough damage for level 70. I do feel like they could have bumped it up maybe, you know, to a, a, like a level 15 or level 20 or something, and it still probably wouldn't have been broken. Um, now, the downside to this is that... Um, like I said, with the ethereal version, you can't repair the charges. Um, you can get synergy bonuses on the Amazon if you're using this on an Amazon, uh, basically by beefing up the alternate skill. So instead of Plague Javelin, it would be Poison Javelin. 
Um, they did increase the synergies, uh, I think, between the two in 2.4, so you could get a decent amount of damage out of it. I don't know. It could be an interesting way to have Plague Javelin without actually having to put 20 points into it. Um, I mean, you don't necessarily have to put 20 points into it, right? <laughs> But uh, I, I just don't really see it being all that useful um, in the long run. So the ethereal version. Um, the ethereal version is 52 to 379 damage on the throw, which is a lot. Uh, 132 to 171 one-handed damage, which isn't really that much. And uh, it does have 135 dexterity, because ethereal items have 10 less requirements. 66 strength requirement, and of course um, it now cannot be repaired now even though it is replenishing you do have to keep in mind that because it can no longer be repaired you will have to wait so if you throw all the the, the javelins um, you're going to have to sit there and you're going to have to wait for it to recharge and to give you guys an idea let's just go ahead and chuck a whole bunch of javelins i mean look at those beautiful i always loved how javelins look when they throw when you throw them in the air don't you guys love how they look when you throw them in the air? I mean, just look at that. Just beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. So once you throw all the javelins, you'll notice that it has to recharge. And it takes a little while. Is that 80? 80, 81? 82? And so forth and so on. So... If you do utilize ethereal replenish quality items, I would recommend that you have alternatives uh, because you kind of need to have alternatives to make sure that if this one runs out, you can put this one in your cube or whatever and you can wait for it to replenish. It will replenish while it's not on and then you can put something else in its place until it's replenished and then swap it back in. A lot of throw barbarians will have two to three sets of items uh, for this very purpose. Now, thankfully, because of the changes to the throwing mastery, we now have a chance to replenish quantity on critical strike and a chance not to consume the actual um, the actual item at all when we throw it. Uh, so as you can see here with the new 2.4 public test realm patch, we're at 57% chance not to consume, as well as a replenish quantity on critical strike and a 47% chance to pierce. Uh, so not bad at all as far as trying to keep those ethereal items um, in good shape. Definitely very nice. Now, where could you potentially find a gargoyle's bite winged harpoon if you wanted to find one? Well, we're going to have to look it up because I don't think I've ever actually found a gargoyle's bite myself. Um, assuming that, uh, you know, you're level 70, let's pretend that you have at least 300% magic find. And uh, we're going to go over to Silo's pen and we're going to take a look and see uh, where you could potentially find this. So uh, right off the bat, uh, let's look at bosses. Bink. And look at that. Very, very tiny list. Very, very tiny list. So we're looking at Bale. That's about it. I mean, you could farm Nilothak, but Nilothak's probably not going to drop it at a 1 in 20, 121,000 chance. And uh, and the Defilers probably aren't going to drop it at their 1 in... What is that? Is that 2 million? That's a freaking lotto numbers there. Um, so pretty much just Bale. And then let's take a look at Super Uniques. And uh, for Super Uniques, we do have Frozenstein, Pindle Skin, Snap, Chip Shatter, and Thresh Socket all have pretty decent chances considering how hard this one is to find. And uh, pretty crappy chances from Akmel the Curse, Bartek the Bloody, Cleanse of the Annihilator, Lister the Tormentor, Ventar the Unholy. I mean, these are all really bad chances. I mean, that's like 1 in 110,000. And it just gets worse from there. Well, that was easy. <laughs> so anyway, guys and gals, if you're looking to find a Gargoyle's Bite, there are your options, and uh, and it's an oddity. I feel like most people aren't specifically going to look for this, but if you did specifically, you know, were just killing Bale or something, and he happened to drop a, drop a Gargoyle's Bite winged harpoon that was ethereal, you could probably utilize that on your Throwing Barbarian quite well until you manage to find maybe like an ethereal Lacerator or whatever other more preferable best in slot weapon you might want. And the damage on it is actually pretty nice at 50, uh, 52 to 379. But good luck actually finding an ethereal one. <laughs> anyway, guys and gals, I do appreciate you watching my videos, um, even when you are getting bitten by gargoyles. And uh, as always, keep watching.